Hello everyone, welcome back to Box the Gaming. So, as you might have remembered, we were stuck in this hole in a house. Well, it's not, not even a house, not even a hut. More like a sort of a small cave. So, whilst I was off camera, I sort of built myself a little house here. And it's got this lovely little roof terrace. And a bed, because I love sleeping in the open, so hey, why not? And I also went mining for a bit. Just to save you the hassle, I guess, because it just, uh, you know, it takes a while. So I've got quite a bit of iron, silver, copper, tin. So we should be all good. I didn't get any diamonds yet. So we'll do that at some later stage. And you can see here my new tools as well, which I can show off here. So these are made with the, um, the gems, which is the rubies and stuff. So these red sort of items, they're made by rubies. And this blue one is sapphire. And I think I have some emeralds here as well. Um, and to make these, it's extremely simple. You do it exactly the same as you would make a normal tool. So, you know, for a pickaxe, you just go like that. And for an axe, etc. But I don't need any now, so let's put these back. So I also moved all my stuff in this little house here. And this sort of entry is where the, um, the stairs go up the house. So I was thinking maybe going down from here and maybe, you know, doing something underground as well. So in this episode, we're just going to be focusing at the the basic sort of equipment in industrial craft. So what we're going to need is a macerator and a generator. And the generator just uh, just well generates power, <laughs> easy enough. But before we do that, we need to get some rubber. So I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. Um, let's get some wood. And you sort of make into a, well, this shape. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a tap shape, but hey. And that makes us a tree tap. And then we need to go find some rubber trees. So there we can see one with the little top there. And there should be a couple more around. But let's just get that one first. <coughs> now rubber is combined with copper to make cables. And you need cables for pretty much everything in an industrial craft. So all you want to do is, you don't want to chop these down, at least not yet. You want to take away the leaves on the, on the sides. And of course the first three we get doesn't have anything. So we'll just chop this down. But you can see that now it drops these yellow things. And these are sticky resin. And you either cook these to get rubber or you can build an extractor later on. Um, that makes free rubber from every resin but we're not going to do that at the start so let's just see if we can get any saplings because yeah, there's one if you can get a rubber tree farm going that's just so helpful because you need a lot of that stuff um, but what I'm looking for now is just these little the same sort of sticky resins but they also sit at the side of the trees I can't be bothered to climb up there so let's chop down this as well Bugger. Let's do it with a chest, why not? <laughs> and we'll come back here later. And here's another one. Wow. That's very unlucky. There's usually one or two per tree. Don't think there's one under there. Oops. Ah, oh, there we go. So there you can see that. So what you do is you get your tree tap. And all you do is you right click on that little piece of tree and it dumps out the um, the resin if there was any and I don't have an axe anymore oh, let, me get a, let me get a cow let me get the cow hmm okay <laughs> let's just make an axe before we do anything else there's not a sapling uh, you can plant saplings you can grow them with bone meal just like any other tree so that's basically what I use my bone meal on usually as you need just so much rubber it's insane so I've got some smelting some tin for later use let's get those somewhere and let's make uh, we might as well make an emerald where is my emeralds here make an emerald axe oh. Easy enough. 
And let's go back there. <coughs> yeah, so rubber, pretty much at any time, I always have a tree type with me because you just need so much rubber that you can never have enough. There we go, and that's a load of saplings, that's good. Uh, and we'll just come back here again later and see if there's any saplings that's been dropped. Just looking for more of these rubber trees. There's <laughs> an egg up here. Oh, wow. Um, actually, surprisingly little of them. There's one there. Oh, there's a couple more in the back. Okay, well, let's go there first. Oh, there we go. That's better. And these respawn as well, so... I don't know the exact time on it, but... I sort of believe it to be around 5 minutes or so. So... I'll show you how to make a tree top... Uh, sorry, a rubber farm, which is... Oh, there's another one there, perfect. And that's pretty much all. So that's why I'm chopping these down, because I'll, I'll be making a farm after this. Once I get some saplings. But before you do chop them down, oh great, see that's better. You do want to get all the sap off the trees. Let's see if there's any here. Nope. There you go. Last one. That should be. That should be now. Uh, I should have some bones as well, so then it just makes it much easier again. Uh, oops. Got a sworn. No mind. There we go. Let's just help this along a little bit. This takes quite a while. Got six saplings. That should be enough, actually. Yeah. Let's not wait here. It takes too long. Just go back through the old route, see if we can find anything there. Hmm. Yep, there's one there. So seven should be plenty, that's that's cool. <coughs> so I spent about probably two hours just clearing this land from trees because it was all forest like here. Uh it took forever. Put these down. I think I have enough rubber for now, so I don't have to use bone meal. Um, I still want to keep this area clear, so I'm over just a bit in the back. Yeah, that should do. So let's um, let's smelt it, or whatever you call it. Some tin and do some copper first as well. And actually, whilst we're at this, let's do another thing. Let's build a furnace. And I'm not exactly sure on the recipe, but I believe it to be. Oop. <laughs> of course not. An iron furnace. Oh, was it not showing me the recipe? Oh, there we go. So it's five and one. That's easy. We can do that. And this is just pretty much an upgraded version of the um, normal furnace. It still uses coal as a source, which is not really what we want, but at least it'll go a bit faster. So let's put that in there. Now the other thing we we need lots of in this in industrial craft is um, this refined iron. So you make this by simply smelting the iron ingots again. So we put that in there, you see it'll start smelting and it'll just come out of refined iron. And we need that for pretty much everything. So let's see if we can get some rubber. And I need a load of it, so that's not going to be enough yet. Uh, 
I need six, I think, to even start anything. But we might as well grow some trees. It's getting dark as well. So, pop, 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 pop. There we go. So now, ideally, what you want to do is sort of clear them out, so get all the leaves off. It actually doesn't hurt, um, it, they'll still make those little sticky resin bubbles. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to harvest later on. So we'll do a little bit of this. I'll do. I'll do the rest later, but I thought might as well whilst we're waiting. And there we go. So 12, that's good. That's, that's a good amount. So to make the cables, I'll show you in, in the recipe list here. Some copper cables. You can make un uninsulated cables, but just don't bother. <laughs> That's annoying. You have to click away from that. Okay. So easy enough. Six rubber, three copper, just in a line, and that makes you six cables. And probably over the course of this let's play, we'll probably need about I don't know, a thousand cables or so. So there we have our copper cable. So the first thing we want to make is a generator, and we do that. Boy, hey, where is it? There we go having a battery and I always make it this way because I think it uses less iron so we need a battery, a machine block and a furnace so the easy part is the furnace of course let's do that first there we go now machine block is made by refined iron like that, it's like a chest and you need this for every single machine you make so you're gonna be making loads of them now a a oh that's right I don't have any redstone I can't even make a battery alright well because it's dark we might as well get some redstone eh and oh ow not intentional um I believe that I went somewhere and it oh that's nice thank you I'll take those. I'm not going to mine anything else, so I'll do that off camera. We'll just go find for some. You know, I could just go find some redstone. Hmm. Hmm. That's weird because I've been all the way in the, in the depths. You see my torches. Um. It's usually loads of redstone everywhere, but it's not here. Hmm. I might have to go a bit deeper. And I do know there's a lot of places here to go deep straight away. So I know this one goes fairly far. As you can see, there's no ores left. I've, <laughs> I've taken it all. Oh, there's actually some there. I haven't been down. Oh, there's some redstone. See, perfect. And we actually don't need that much. This will be enough for our purposes for now. So let's get home again. I did make a waypoint. I just have no idea how to get out of this cave. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Well. That looks promising. As we're going up, I guess. Ah, oh, the other thing. I made the house out of marble bricks. So all you do is just like any other brick, you just combine four marble in a row. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. But I've got depth, depth points on, so... Of course, lesson of the day, do not explain stuff whilst you're <laughs> in, a ca in a dark cave. I should be able to find my way back pretty easily, though. Um, the only dumb thing is that I didn't take a pickaxe. 
And there's a spider following me as well. Hmm. Charming. Oh, was I that close to home, really? Oh no. Oh no. Let's go all the way. It's only 14 blocks, it's not too far. I'll be sour if I... Darn it. Oh well. We'll find a way again. Um, I think I went over here, didn't I? And that's up. Okay. So possibly I came from Hmm. That's interesting. I definitely went under here. But I think I took a different way out, so Yeah, there we go. So yeah, marble bricks. <laughs> Put four in a square and, and you get them. Easy enough. There we go. Oh. Lovely loot. What's that? A chest. Don't need a chest. Some torches back into place. Okay, so I've got what I needed, which is the redstone. <laughs> Uh, let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, finally home. <laughs> I got so lost that, that that took a while. But that's okay. We've got what we wanted, so I'm happy. Sort of. So we got the redstone. All you need is tin. Like so. And put some redstone in the middle. And then a battery at the top. And that makes you an RE battery. So now we have our machine block, we have our furnace, our battery, that makes us a generator. And let's uh, let's wish we put this. Hmm. Maybe start it here or on the long side. Hmm. Maybe just start it here for now. So yeah, this takes coal or anything else that burns. So you know, wooden planks work, although not too well. Let's just stick it full of coal for now. And I'll heat up, but once it's heated up, it, it stops using this. So the next thing we need to make is more fine iron. And I'm just gonna put some, put some crap in this chest because we have way too much egg, some meat. Don't need that now. Oh, let's just put everything in there. We'll get it out later. Some of that. That's all done. So we need eight of this total. And I don't have any at the moment. So the next thing we want to make is the macerator. And this is why I haven't smelted most of my stuff yet, because we can get way cooler stuff out of this. So there's a macerator. Free flint, two cobble stone, which is of course not a problem, machine block and an electronic circuit. So let's get see we have we don't have enough flint, but we have some gravel, so let's punch some gravel. There we go, that's our flint. So we have the flint, we get to cobble out, and we're getting one more, we can make a machine block. Oh, let's do that first. And then a circuit, so I'll show you how that's made, that's very easy. It's six cables, two redstone, and another refined iron in the middle. And I have enough if I can get one of those. So let's see, it's cables. Like so, six round. Iron in the middle, iron on both sides. I think you can also make it like so, I believe. Yeah, that makes the same thing. So let's make the macerators, shall we? Easy enough. 
that's the macerator. Perfect. So this needs a power source like a generator. You can also have solar power, which we'll do later. But for now, you know, let's just uh, hook it up right next to the generator. Uh, I might actually show you just to put it here. Um, you can power these things with copper cables or any other cable. But for now, we just use copper. And this should be powering up. You can see that here. So now, actually, if you put anything in there, it'll start mashing it up. And it'll give us some tin dust. So let's see, one tin ore makes it into, it's very slow, but you can, these four slots are for upgrades, so you can make it faster and all that sort of good stuff. And there we go, we have two tin dust. And this two tin dust, you can smelt for one tin, or, um, tin each. So you pretty much double your whole input, which is amazing. So I might as well get some iron smelting. Because why not? Uh, macerating. Now this goes fairly well. It doesn't use too much coal. But we do want to start on solar panels soon. So iron gun, so that's tin done. And did I see any rubber on that? Because I might as well start smelting that. Yeah, there is some already. Let's see. So the other sort of good hint for this is that if you get a couple of trees without any of these bubbles on them, just remove them from your farm. I guess you could go further and actually remove anything that doesn't have at least two on it. Um, but I'm not that picky, you know. Nope. 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 There we go. See that already respawned, or whatever you call it, <laughs> regrew. So that's pretty good. And I think the next thing we might make actually is an extractor, just because it's so damn handy to, to get um, free rubber out of one resin. That's just going to save us so much time in the end. Come on. This tree is a bit of a pain. It does. It had one there, but it doesn't seem to have any more. How about this one? Nope. 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 Not a novel. Hmm. Okay. Took you down. And let's see. Let's replant one. Let's go through this one quickly. Nope. Nope. There we go. This one had only one, didn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure if if when you cut this sort of a part of this tree, if oh, oops. Eh, doesn't matter. If the other had still grow. So if there's a rubber one like there, I'm not sure if you remove, say for example, this piece of block. Actually, what? Might as well try it. Although I have to harvest it. So let's try it with another one. So let's see if this rubber grows back. I'm not sure if it does, but we'll see, I guess. Because then, supposedly, you can sort of make the perfect farm, which would be nice. So you can hear these things are massively loud. You can change any options. That sort of ticking it helps sometimes, but it doesn't always. So there we have some extra dust. And we'll just let this, um, you know, do its thing. And then next episode we'll just try and speed it up and we'll make some redstone engines, to which are uh, a build craft item. And it'll just automate a lot of things for us, because now, you know, you have to put your ores in there and... Uh, take your dust out of there and then put your dust in a furnace and it's just a bit too much hassle so what we'll do is we'll automate it all so that's going to be pretty cool so yeah just stay tuned and i'll see you guys next time